why I am in, uh, neutral. Matthew 23, 23 says, uh, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. So right here, I kind of made like a diagram, sort of. Like, in my opinion, deliance is an expression of God's justice. The confederation is an expression of God's mercy. And the earth people are an expression of God's uh, faith. And to me, from my experience with the Confederation Brothers, the, they are God's mercy because they help out with people who are targeted individuals. And I know that the, uh, the evil Amigans and maybe some other CTR groups are invo involved with the electronic harassment gang stalking and stuff like that and I've seen the I've seen them I know in my opinion uh, I believe they're Amigans, be, Amigans because I've it's mostly in the military from other people that I've read and from my own case um, they made me believe it's from the military and there's a case where I've seen an undercover uh, I, I believe to be an Amigan, and he was in the military, and several times the Confederation have stepped in and told him to knock off harassing me. And I've seen several people undercover Amigans in my family, they try to nose thumb the Confederation operative, so they know who each other are. And so they, they sometimes they do like a... They, intimidate each other, especially the confederation against the undercover Amigan operatives. Uh, um, I also believe they're Amigan because uh, on the website, I think it's in the um, overview of the Amigan situation, they, uh, it was mentioned that there was a numbering the numbers uh, number of Amigans was estimated at almost o or over a million and in the um, Project Terra status report it mentions there's no less than 500,000 of them worldwide so there's a lot of them and they they uh, from looking at TIs they do it apparently all over the world so there's a whole bunch, so it leads me to believe that, and I've seen the Confederation step in against them, and they wouldn't do that against regular Earth people. And I don't, I've read that there are other groups, but they don't, they're not much of a threat, like the Megan group. I think it's being monitored. So, it's not, so from what I've read, it's mostly the Megans doing the, leads me to believe anyway. Anyway, um, getting back to this. Um, I believe Confederation is God's mercy because they help out with people in their personal lives. While the Alliance is God's justice because they remove the Megans, phys physically, they're here to physically remove the Megans. And the Earth people are God's faith because they can only rely on Jesus and prayer. And the more people are follow teaching of Jesus, the easier it makes it for the Confederation to help them out. Confederation has registering discs to read thoughts. So the more the Earth people pray and are sincere in following the teachings of Jesus, Confederation will help out people by either sending an undercover operative that radiates good and they'll radiate good energy from their body and help out people in small ways. They'll do orchestrated coincidences so you know it's them and they know you know. They do this because uh, in the 50s, they could come openly because the civilization as a whole was threatened, but it's not like that now. And they already came openly back then, so now it's more of an indirect way. Um, they may also influence your subconscious from a distance, or they may influence your subconscious from a distance and also send an undercover operative or operatives to help out in small ways in your life. And so the more people have faith in Jesus and pray, the more the Confederation will help out in person's life. 
and the more this happens, the more the alliance is also, it makes the job for alliance a little bit easier, because the earth people are following the teachings of Jesus, and with the confederation helping out, they make sure earth people can follow the teachings of Jesus, because if the Megans are trying to interfere with their lives or make them immoral, the more they try to follow the teachings of Jesus and pray, the more the confederation will help out. So that way the earth people can continue to be more moral and be helped out by the confederation, therefore making the job a little bit easier for the alliance to physically remove the Amigans. I have uh, more information on this, for instance, uh, it's this right here, but it says, Brother R.K. says, Our purpose has been and continues to be the physical removal of the Megan influence from your world. We are not here to is initiate ascension or uh, and alter the Earth's vibration. There is nothing spiritual about it. We leave that piffle to those who are interested in it. And as far as the teachings of Jesus are concerned, the Alliance Brothers say, for that reason, we were asked to provide a judgment on which religious philosophies were divinely inspired. We would conclusively select Christianity. It alone contains the essence that is the foundation for universal faith. This will evoke controversy, no doubt, but we deal in facts. We are not pro uh, proselytizing for Christianity. Believe as you will, but Christ is the answer. And you can see in uh, this book here, Mass Contacts, um, somewhere around here, let's see, um, there I'd find it, um, let's see, oh here we go, it says right here, Confederation, uh, contact Bruno Samosesia, and the W56 says, they maintain that what we know about Christ is but an obvious evidence. So both groups encourage the teachings of Jesus. As far as uh, the Confederation, if you want to be contacted by the Confederation, um, the, what, what to do is real undercover confederation operatives is to it says right here those few on earth who just who do desirely yeah sorry those few on earth who do sincerely desire to learn the laws of the infinite one must try to lead others and we of other worlds will help them so if you want to be contacted by the real confederation practice uh, sharing the teachings of Jesus and don't be a, uh, actually live by them. Live by the teachings of Jesus. Practice what you preach, I guess. It's the best way. Also, here's, here it talks about the register, registering discs. It says, by the use of these machines, we know even what your people are thinking. So, the registering discs would read our thoughts. This is from Inside the Spaceships by George Adamski. Um, right here, regarding the registering disc, they also say, Meanwhile, we keep ourselves ever alerted to receive the call for whatever help men of Earth may truly desire, for there are still our, they are still our brothers. And if you follow the teachings of Jesus and see the Confederation as friends, you could make it into their Confederation worlds with your memory intact in, in the next life. They say here, you of Earth use the term the law of transmigration in a mistaken sense. What it really means is that when an individual on your Earth has risen above the ignorance of his brothers into a higher understanding of life, rebirth on another planet is permitted. He will come through with a vivid memory of his experience on Earth. Predominant will be his conception of the fundamental laws that govern all life. Memories of his daily habits, his relationship with his family and associates, while still clear, will be secondary. He will realize there are no missing links between the two stages of life, but a continuity of development uncluttered by the many names and divisions which confused him on earth. And that's done. They do that. 
by something that's like a, a soul transfer machine. It's mentioned in this book, Threads of Light to You by uh, Howard Menger. Let's see where, where it is. Mm, can't find it. Um, okay. Uh, right here it says, They told me that when one of the race is ready to put aside the body due to extreme age or malfunction due to an injury, they remove the soul, tie a white electrical unit, and through some unknown method, place it in another newer, younger, properly prepared form. According to Howard, all memory, talents, and learned skills were then alive and operative in the new body. So... This is th Matthew tw to me. Matthew twenty three twenty three is a complete system. I think both the conf confederation uh, and alliance complement each other. And with this system, by my pen name is Lucas Louise, and uh, my goal is to set up a system on Earth where anybody who reads my books can, uh, through faith in Jesus, as an Earth person, they can make it into confederation worlds. And that that way, when they make it, they can work with sector, sector Command and help others who are victims of the vegan harassment and help them make it too. And once they make it, they can be friends with the Alliance or support them or become neutral or something. Um, uh, in my, I think Confederation operatives have told me that I'm going to make it into their worlds in the next life. So, in that case, I want to increase my service and humbleness even more, and I'm eternally grateful for them. If I do make it, I'd like to make a Alliance Confederation Brotherhood Club, and of course, uh, Brother Bob and Brother RK and the rest of Project Terra. Anyone who wants to come is invited, and just do whatever, do whatever, whatever everybody wants to do. We just do it and have fun and hang out. And also, uh, on Brother RK's thing here, it says, I support the, what he says, in most cases the Alliance and Confederation are quite friendly and cooperative. In fact, the Galactic High Tribunal is supportive, if not publicly enthusiastic, concerning our efforts here. And me too, I support the Tribunal's stance. And regards, maybe one day I'd like to be a member of Arcturus because they're a neutral group and it says right here the Arcturians are aligned with both both the Confederation and the UWA United Worlds Alliance this is not uncommon although the majority of aligned worlds are with one or the other so that is the system that I like right here hopefully the books that I'm writing will help people to make it through through confederation with I, which I believe is expression of God's mercy into their worlds and then they can help out others to make it or work with the alliance or be neutral or just or do whatever they want and the more they the more mercy is successful and people have faith in Jesus it also helps out the confederation so the more each group is successful the more it indirectly affects the other groups so it's each it's mutually beneficial for each group to be successful because indirectly it helps every other group. And that's the system I, I call it the Matthew 2323 system. Okay, uh, thank you and please have a good weekend. God bless.